Hey folks, this is Russell Longcore coming to you from www.claimsecrets.com. That's claimsecrets.com. And I'm shooting this quick video that goes along with this article. And the article is entitled Insurance Company Complaints. The top 10 companies of 2012 with the least number of complaints. Now, I, I did one of these articles back a few years ago, and uh, the article uh, was wildly successful when people go, when people get frustrated and they go online with a search engine and they would type in something like insurance company complaints or insurance complaints or something like that, my article would pop up and tens of thousands of people took a look at that article and saw which one of the companies uh, were the best and which ones were worst. And this, this report comes from the Department of Insurance of the state of New York. Now, the Department of Insurance of the state of New York is, uh, is probably the toughest Department of Insurance in the United States of all the 50 states. These guys don't play. Uh, and uh, so if you're a, if you're a company that uh, does real well and, and get along with them, you must be a pretty good company. But in this particular case, uh, they put out this annual um, report that says the the top companies and this one is particularly in auto insurance but it's the it's the companies that they rank them from least to most in the number of complaints that they get and uh, uh, I'll let you look at this and see who's number one and uh, but the thing that you should look at and notice about this is that most of the companies that you see on TV that are pushing uh, car insurance uh, and it, it, pretty much everybody that you see advertised did not make the top 10. They didn't make the top 20. They didn't make the top 40 of companies that got the most amounts of complaints uh, in the state of New York. Now, you, New York has got great big city and it's got lots of urban areas. So it's a real good representation of what happens in the whole United States. So you can look at this and say, well, okay, if 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 in the if in the toughest area they that your company, whatever company that you've got now, if your company's not making it, maybe you ought to consider switching to another company and finding somebody that uh, really knows what they're doing. But here's the point: I mean, you should you should always shop. You should shop no no less than every couple of years because the insurance companies don't care. Uh, you think that maybe loyalty uh, counts with insurance companies? I promise you that it doesn't. And I come at this from a, from almost 40 years in the insurance industry, both as an agent and as a claims adjuster. My most recent 22 years has been as a claims adjuster. So I know this crap. And what I'm saying to you is that insurance companies do not care about loyalty anymore, period. Uh, they also... Um, um, will drop you in a heartbeat if you start having claims or if you even do have a claim. So you need to know that it's really important to get with a company uh, and and make sure that you're getting the best amount of coverage for the least amount of dollars and make sure that you compare correctly. But the most important thing, the most important thing is what happens when a claim happens. Because, all, because once you get a claim, once you have a loss and you file a claim, then you and the insurance company no longer have the same goal. You see, their goal is to pay you the least amount of money that you'll accept. Um, and uh, your goal is to collect the greatest amount of money that you uh, are entitled to collect under the terms and conditions of your, of your policy. And that's a big gap between the goals that you guys have. And you know, I've said this over and over and over. You'll hear me say it until I fall into the grave. The devil is in the details of the claims process. Insurance companies won't tell you the claims process. They will just go ahead and do it their way. And if you don't take control of the claims process, you'll leave thousands of dollars, maybe tens of thousands of dollars on the table, uncollected, that you don't get. And it's only because you simply don't know what to do, and they do. So it puts you at a very distinct disadvantage. And my book, Insurance Claim Secrets Revealed, will, will help you to get rid of that disadvantage. Your disadvantage is about to disappear. So take a look down here. Look for the, uh, for, look for the link. You'll see it in the article. Uh, but look for the link underneath the video that shows claimsecrets.com. And if you just miss it, just remember www.claimsecrets.com. That's all you have to remember. So, folks, thanks very much. I hope you enjoy this article. I hope it helps you. And uh, 
Uh, good luck with your claim if you need me. Give me a call. Thanks. Bye.